The brand new Foundry Wax is like no other wax out there, and I'm going to share three easy ways to use it and give you some tips along the way, so let's get into it. I'm going to start off by using some Ranger Black Alcohol Ink cardstock. I'm going to spritz the back with some water and emboss it with a 3D embossing folder. The wax is liquid and you need to shake it up until you hear the ball moving around. I take a tiny bit of the Statue Foundry Wax and put it on my glass mat and I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. I'm going to lightly rub some over the raised areas. You have to work quickly because the wax is liquid and it dries fast. A little bit goes a long way and although the embossed image is coming to life, the magic happens when when you heat it up. It only requires a little bit of heat, but the heat brightens the wax and makes it almost look like gilding. After the wax is heated, it's permanent. The card was looking a little bland, so I decided to add some splatters. I'm not 100% sure if we're supposed to be splattering with the wax, but I did it anyways. To add even more interest to the card, I cut out three circles from the embossed panel, and then I popped them up with some foam tape. For this next technique, I wanted to see if I can paint on the wax and just leave brush strokes. I had to work really fast, but it did work. This first color I'm using is Statue. While I paint on the remaining colors of the wax, I wanted to tell you about one of the ways this wax is so different from others. Clean up. I can use a baby wipe to clean off my brush, hands, and work surface, and there is no waxy buildup left. The next color I'm using is Mind, and I do clean my brush after every wax that I use. And then the one after that is Gilded. And then this last color is Sterling. As I add some splatters onto this card, I would love for you to leave a comment letting me know what color is your favorite. Here is the best part. When heat is introduced to the wax, it brightens everything up. And the best way I can describe this is, you know when you use micro glaze over distress stains, how it just brightens everything up? That's what heat does to the waxes. I cut down the panel to four by five and a quarter and added a sticker sentiment. And then I'm going to add that to my card base. And even though this card was so simple to make, there's something about the metallic on the black that's so striking. For this next technique, I'm just going to spritz some water onto some black cardstock and run it through my die cut machine with a 3D embossing folder. I put the tiniest bit of wax on my work surface and I'm going to use my finger to apply it, but I don't want too much wax on my finger because I want to just highlight the texture from the embossing folder. So I lightly rub it over the top. I pick up more wax as needed, making sure I work fast because again, this wax dries very quickly. When I'm done applying the wax, I'm going to die cut out some hearts and these will be the focal point for my cards. The foundry wax is just one way to highlight an embossed image. If you would like to learn even more creative ways to use your embossing folders, be sure to check out this video right here where I share how to use them with alcohol ink backgrounds. You don't wanna miss it. I'll see you there.